Hello and welcome back to the TV Show Club, the club where we talk about TV shows that have been recently watching, viewing and enjoying, let me know what you've been recently watching and enjoying, and if you've seen what I'm about to talk about, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. This. This is why I have missed Game of Thrones story. This is why I have missed Westeros. Episode 2 of House of Dragons Season 2. Oh my god. I loved the first episode. I loved getting back into just the drama of just everything that's happened and dealing with the ending of season one and everything like that. But the ending of episode one and the fallout of that, the death of the prince, oh my god. This was just what a piece of television, what an episode of just pure cinema. This was brilliant from the writing, the pacing, the acting, the everything that this episode embodied is why I love Game of Thrones so much. It's why I love this world so much because it's just fantastic. It's just it's just brilliant. I just love it. I love all the characters. I, I, some of them are not doing stuff that I want them to do, but I love it regardless. Starting the episode with just the absolute carnage, like literally picking up exactly where we left off. The prince has just been murdered. The king's absolutely losing it. And by the way, I wasn't sure about that, the actor of the king, uh, Aegon, but oh my God, what an absolutely outstanding, like, brilliant way of portraying a broken father like that. The the contrast from episode one to episode two of Aegon like playing with his kid in the room to then this just throwing stuff around absolutely raging. Oh it was it was just brilliant. It was so well done and I love the fact that it powered just quickly it picked up. There was no space between the episodes. There was no nothing. It was just bang straight into it. Straight into the carnage. I loved seeing Rhaenyra's reaction to it. Just seeing that whole table. Everyone looking at Damon like we know it's you. We know you're sat there smirking and just the fallout of that. Seeing them just basically fall apart. I love Damon. I love the character but he is screwing up, you can't deny it. Ugh. I love the relationships between everyone and just how they're all falling apart and everyone's just basically on their own now. This is the one and only time I've ever agreed with, I can't remember his name, but the guy who was the King's Hand, the, the Hightower guy, honestly, like, just when he was just basically scolding Aegon and I was like, you know what, you're right, you've messed up there. They sent the mother and a, and a basically headless child just parading through the streets and he's just messed it up because he wanted a bit of revenge. Like, what an idiot. And then, just to, to then get rid of him, the one guy who probably had a bit of sense in the room. Uh, oh, just what a stupid move on, a, on, a, on Aegon's behalf. The fact that Christian Cole has essentially created everything like every problem that this sort of set of family or families has ever had is is it can boil down to christian cole i think like honestly he is just leaving little pockets everywhere he just does wrong all the time and now the fact that he's the 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 hand to the king is outrageous it's insane but i can't wait to see how wrong it goes honestly like the ending with him going back and Alison just falling straight back into his arms. I can't believe it. I I, I can believe it because it's that kind of character that would do that, but I, I, I also can't believe it. The devastation in episode two of the twin fight. Like, I don't know how Christian thought that that was going to be a good idea, sending the twin to try and kill Renera, but oh my God, the, the battle of that was so well crafted in such a brilliant way. Like, I was watching it and as a viewer, I had no idea which one was which like when they're stood next to each other you can kind of tell from like subtle differences in the face and the hair but during that fight i was honestly baffled like and then i thought oh he stabbed him in the leg uh, at least i know that that one's the good guy no never mind they both get stabbed in the leg now they both are just uh, honestly even towards the end of the fight i still had no idea who had won up until the point where he said i'm sorry my queen followed by that absolutely heartbreaking moment because he was such a good like side part to the queen he was such a good guard he was just a good guy he didn't deserve that but it makes so much sense for the character he's just literally had to murder his own brother to save his queen and and he, he just can't live with that so what an utterly tragic thing that happened but what a brilliantly filmed 
just section of TV. Like I loved every single second of that. This season of House of Dragons, I feel is gonna be outstanding. Like I loved the first one, don't get me wrong, but this one just feels like it's already stepping up and it's only episode two. This feels like peak Game of Thrones for me. Personally for me, Game of Thrones, I, I, I love the early seasons one through three, but sort of towards the back end of three till six, I believe is where it truly found its footing, at least it, it, it's where I enjoyed the most of it. And this feels like that. It feels like that in the set design, in the acting, in the in the little plot points that are everywhere. I adore and love this so much, and I cannot wait to see where this goes. I cannot wait to see some out, just giant scale battles going on. Or just just the deceit and and oh, it's so good. I love it. I'm so glad we're back in Westeros, and I can't wait to see more. But anyway, what did you think of House of Dragons episode two? And I'll see you next time on the TV Show Club.